Hey guys, how's it going? So just hanging out in the backyard of my parents' house right now. Uh, plan on doing a little bit of studying later on this evening, maybe an hour or two worth. I have an exam tomorrow afternoon, which is my third of four exams for this summer class, and I'm completely finished, so really excited about that. Uh, I know a pretty good amount of information for it. Uh, definitely a lot more confident than the previous exam that I made a video talking about how I procrastinated on, so I should do well in this one as well. But I wanted to talk about uh, a comment that I've been receiving on multiple videos and people have even gone as far as direct messaging me this same question and what they're basically asking is if they're smart enough to get accepted in a nursing school and if they're smart enough to graduate nursing school um, you know before you get into anything you know you're really apprehensive about it you really question yourself and I understand that I, I was the same way but smart is a really relative term guys you know, everyone is smart in their own way. I have very seldomly ever met a stupid person, a quote-unquote stupid person. I met a lot of lazy people in my life, not a lot of stupid people. You know, I'll give you an example. I'm really good at nursing. I'm really good at science, and I will be really good at medicine once I get into that area. Uh, I'm really good at knowing pathophysiology, pharmacokinetics, pharmacodynamics, knowing how drugs work, knowing how the body works, knowing what drugs to push during certain rapid responses, things like that. That's what I'm really good at. Um, but I'm also a server at one of the pools here in Las Vegas and I suck at my job uh, I've been there for four years they hire me back every year and I really don't know why um, but I don't drink alcohol guys so I don't know the difference between tequila and vodka I don't know the difference or I don't know what goes in a, um, a screwdriver you know I don't know these things because this is kind of just a job that puts me through school pays my edu pays for my education and I'm not going to be there forever, so I'm not the best at it. I'm really horrible. You know, I'm honest with the guest. I say, hey, listen, I've never tasted that drink. I don't know how it tastes, but I can tell you what people order the most. So does that mean that I'm stupid because I don't know the difference between certain alcohols? No, it just means that that's not my cup of tea. That's not my area. Nursing, science, and medicine, that's my area. You know, a lot of the servers make fun of me out at the pool, but that's not what I do, guys. I don't sit there every night studying that stuff. I don't really care to know everything. I don't care to be the best server and all these alcoholic beverages because that's not what I plan on doing with my life now I work really hard and I come to work every day and I do my best and that's about all they're gonna get but everyone is smart in their own way an engineer is smart and really good at their job not my job I'm really good at my job not an engineer's job so smart is a very relative term um, when you say are you smart enough to get accepted into nursing school or if you're smart enough to make it through nursing school that's kind of a weird question to ask the number two or the two things that I feel as if if you possess you will succeed and be successful at anything in life is the ability to apply yourself and the ability to show resilience what is resilience resilience is basically the ability to continue on even though barriers are being put in front of you okay if you have those two qualities you can do anything in life sky's the limit literally I don't care if it's nursing school, medical school, PA school, law school, if you're going to be an engineer, if you're going to be an architect, a physicist, if you're going to cure cancer one day, if you're going to be the president of the United States. The ability to apply yourself and show resilience. Number one or number two, both are indicators of whether you will succeed or not. Um, I told you guys I made a video probably around a year ago talking about how I got into nursing school. And I told you I graduated high school with a 2.3 GPA. Why did I graduate with that GPA? Is because I didn't apply myself. I didn't work really hard. If you asked me, or if you told me, you know, four or five years ago, man, it's been five years. Um, if you told me five years ago that I'd be where I am today, I would laugh in your face because I'm not good at science. At least I thought. You know, I didn't apply myself, and I never gave, gave science a chance. So that's how everything works. If you apply yourself, if you show resilience, and you constantly push forward, you're going to do well at anything. You know, when I got into nursing school, the first exam that we took, 60 to 70% of the entire class failed it, including myself. I had one of the lowest grades in the class. I could have quit. I could have said, you know, I'm not smart enough to be a registered nurse. I'm not smart enough to have a BSN RN credential behind my name. I could have gave up and dropped out of uh, nursing school, but I didn't. I went back to the professor, found out what I missed, correct my mistakes, studied really hard for the next exam, and on the second exam, I received the highest grade in the class. You know, right there for you guys that you know that's a perfect example for you guys if I can do it you can do it everyone is smart in their own way it really depends on whether or not you're willing to apply yourself and whether you are going to continue to keep pushing forward even though you're failing at certain exams or you're failing um, 
a certain clinical evaluation or you know you didn't study as well for certain things if you continue to keep going forward having resilience jumping over these barriers that are going to be put in front of you because there's going to be barriers in nursing school you can do it you're going to push through it you know there's a famous quote by a man named charlie munger if you guys don't know who charlie munger is you're living under a rock uh i'm just joking charlie munger is one of my favorite mentors and he says i constantly see people rise in life who are not the smartest sometimes not even the most diligent but they are learning machines. They go to sleep every night a little smarter than when they were than when they were when they woke up. Step by step they get ahead. Not necessarily in fast spurts, but they build discipline preparing for fast spurts. Slug it out inch at a time, day by day. And at the end of the day, most people get what they deserve. You know, I really believe that is an amazing quote. And what he's basically saying is you don't have to be the smartest person in the class, guys. You don't have to be the valedictorian. That is not indicative of whether or not someone will succeed or not. What is indicative is someone who applies themselves, someone who, you know, goes to sleep a little smarter than what they were when they woke up, someone who pushes forward step by step, day by day, day by day, guys, you guys are going to make it. You can't look at the long haul. You got to put your head down and keep working. I myself fall victim to that all the time. I always say, oh, I graduate in like four months or graduate in five months. Don't do that. Put your head down and keep working away. Keep working, working. By the time you look up, you're going to be there. I promise. You guys are smart enough to get accepted into nursing school. You're smart enough to get through nursing school. If I can do it, you guys can do it. I really hope this video motivates you guys um, and makes you, you know, have confidence in yourself. I'll see you in the next video.